Welcome to 2510 Live Oak Park. And this is the unit straight ahead. And I'm just gonna span around so you can get a good idea of where this property is situated. So Live Oak Park is right down this little driveway right here. And so it is a little bit hard to find, but if you look for the yellow house before this driveway turn, that is going to be your best bet. It is straight across from Alvarado Street and off of Live Oak. Again, if you see the yellow home, you're gonna turn right down this driveway and you're gonna come on up and you have this huge parking area right in here that you can park and then you can come drive right up to your unit as well. So just Knowing that, um, just wanted to get that out of the way so you are able to see how this property and where it's situated. So we'll just walk on down to the front door space. Now this unit does have a little side gate right here. So it does have a little backyard space and like I said, this little gate. So we'll go through that in just a moment. We're gonna head over into the front door space. I'm just gonna walk along here and unit one this is the door right here so we'll head on in there but i'm just going to span back around so you get an idea of how peaceful and lovely this property is it's just super nice and quiet you do have other neighbors that live down the way so you have unit two unit three and unit four right down here so you do have some neighbors, but very nice. You only share one wall. And let's go on inside. Okay, so upon entry, you have your living room space. And it is quite nice and spacious in here. You have some nice bookshelves. That's where I just came through. So you have all these nice bookshelves right here. In this little closet let's see what's in here okay so that's the ac heating unit and right off by the bookshelves you have a bathroom looks like a tub shower so it's a nice full-size bath right off of this living space i'll just head out and let you have another look at this living space in here so i i would think this would be your family room, living room area. And let's just head over. I love that you have this big, beautiful tree right outside the window. It's really lovely. And as I turn the corner to the right, here is a nice ceiling fan. This is where you could put a nice table and chairs right here because it is right into your kitchen space. So here's your kitchen space. Just having the fan uh, repaired at the moment, so that's what you're seeing on the counter right there. You have a nice um, oven and, co and cooktop right here. And your sink is over on this side, right across from this beautiful little window to out look and to outside to your little sunroom. I'll show you that in just a moment. But I do like you have quite a bit of uh, cabinets in here for storage there is no dishwasher and you will have to bring a refrigerator that would go right here next to your sink area and here's your window looking out into the sunroom going to the left we're going to go down the hall into the first bedroom so here's one of the bedrooms this size bedroom would fit a queen bed and a, a double would be even better, give you a little more space in here, but it's a good size room. Let's just have a peek at the closet space. Okay, so good closet space right here, nice and deep. So that's really handy. Okay, let me just back up my camera. My apologies, I hope this helps a little bit. I'm gonna show you that's where I just came through and I'm gonna stand in the far corner so you get a little bit better of an idea of this room size. Okay, so now we're gonna head back down the hall to the left. Oh, look at all these nice cabinets that you have right here. This is really handy. I 
we turn on the light, that helps. And this door right here goes out to the sun patio, so I'll show you that in just a moment, but we're gonna head down this hall and into the master, I would assume. So this is a nice big bedroom, really good size. You could easily fit a king in here. Probably a queen would be nice as well. So that could work. And let's just have a quick peek in these closets. See what type of big closet there is. All right, so good size closet again, nice and deep. I like that. And I like these windows. Just really a nice room. You have a ceiling fan in here, so that's really great. And let's just head out and have a peek at the sunroom. A nice little addition out here. So you have a nice sunroom patio out here. Just lovely. Your washer and dryer would go here. And this just goes outside to, an, uh, probably you could have a little storage shed or something out here if you like. Nice big backyard, but this yard is not fully fenced. It does look like it is, but it is not fully fenced. But again, remember in the very beginning of this video, I showed you this gate right here. So this is quite nice. So you can just park your car, bring your groceries right through here if you wish, and through this patio door. So that's really nice, but let's head up on these, this backyard space and just have a look and I'll just show you. This is not fully fenced because it's not fenced right here, it looks like. Oh, my apologies, I was wrong. So it is fully fenced, so this is good. It looks like there's a storage shed right over there as well. And I'll just span back around so you can see where I just walked up. So it is a fully fenced yard, my apologies, that's wonderful. All right, well that concludes my tour. I hope you will join me and please feel free to apply ahead of time. Thank you so much.